What is up guys, Rick is here with new video and today we actually got the Void Boss 2 update. You can see me searching for him right there uh, and couldn't find him because, well, the locate boss feature some are also in Hollow Campaign, didn't realize that I was there. But now there he is, new boss, a uh, new set of abilities on him. It's not the same as the Island 1 boss, entirely different. Um, this boss is about CC. Uh, and if you didn't notice yet, I recorded this on my phone. The reason being I have zero patience and didn't want to wait till I get home to fight those boss. I was eager to fight them because I had a lot of fun with the first Isle, uh, Void boss. Uh, just clearing that was huge. And well, now we have another Void boss. So I am honestly hyped about this. Um, new boss, as I said, is about CC. First fight, not that difficult for my account. A few people struggled though. Uh, I recommend you use PDE that can... Um, actually negate some of these CC, you will get some control immunity that will definitely help. Other than that, control immunity purify will help. And I just went with full crown, so we don't really get necessarily the fastest possible kills. Uh, well, kind of do right here, but um, I could have probably gone away with using a lot of strings, but would have made much more impact, but it worked quite well. And I guess on the later stages, we once again, we'll see a damage output from the boss um, that will make it necessary to run crowns. I would reckon this guy probably does a lot of damage with active skills here. It's really not that visible on my team, um, on those first bosses actually. Uh, so I'm eager to see if we can clear him easily or quickly, like the last boss, or will take a bit longer. Last boss was not immediately cleared, I think not as fast as possible, but we cleared it in a few days and that is pretty nice. Um, today we see the first three fights because, well, we have three attacks, so three fights, um, which is still kind of nice because we get the new materials from the boss and, well, those were the last materials that I needed for temple level four, which gave me another divine power, so we are now at plus two divine power. I can get my LFA to Destiny rank 4 in two days, so we will see a Divine Power 6 LFA that I can go into Star Expedition with, and we'll probably make a Flame Shrine video. I'm absolutely hyped to do some Flame Shrine damage, maybe get that 7 uh, E plus 16, or maybe an E plus 17 hit with LFA, that would be quite huge. Um, is a lot harder in, in Flame Shrine than in, it is in... Um, in Star Expedition, where we also saw, uh, saw some new features today, and I think we'll have to talk about that. But uh, first, I think I will have to get an idea of that. Uh, for the team itself here, definitely use PDE. Uh, DGN is still fine. HHA for some shields, SQH for damage, same for Mystic Fairy Freya, some all damage reduction there. And obviously our main damage dealer being LFA, stealing the attack, some CC. Uh, I could imagine CC um, from our side with maybe TBB being important on the later stages. Um, just because those minions CC as well, and well, they are faster than us, so maybe CCing them won't be quite as bad. So uh, that would be something. Something. So that was the third fight. Checking out the leaderboard here in a second, where I'm not. But if we actually check it out in game, I'm here on place three, uh, which was mostly, I think, a matter of speed. But I, I was surprised to see there aren't too many people that cleared it with the max points, seven hundred thousand being that. Well, there are a few now. 20, <laughs> already that many. Okay, last time I looked, there were less. 26. How about the Fanox here from my server? That's pretty cool. Uh, there we have Mythum on 670. Apparently he got stunned. GOP, no idea what he did. A few other people. High five, Animorph, we all know those guys. That's pretty nice. And well, yeah, a, few, a lot of people did it. Some struggled already because CC, well, it is kind of difficult. We have Mega Fungi here. Uh, so yeah. Um, it is kind of difficult with this CC because when they are faster than you, obviously they can negate your attacks. If you have one damage delay, you get stunned CC uh, or uh, in CC in whatever way for the entire time while you quickly run out of time. So uh, yeah, that can be difficult. So I guess PDE will be important. I personally, as I said, could see myself use TBB just to get this beginning of the round CC. Um, CC all the enemies and well, you can't CC the boss in that sense, but that's only one enemy. It will hit uh, three of your heroes, so that could help a little bit. Um, but also, of course, the Therapist of Blood, well, she doesn't really deal damage that is comparable to our LFA, which now looks quite great, I have to say. Uh, quite the beauty here. Beyond that, we saw some new features. Usually you had to go into the Transition Temple, for example, or <laughs> when we're already here, let's talk about the Destiny Transition first. Uh, they changed that. It's now uh, way cooler, way cooler design, I think. Pretty nice. 
Um, and the good thing is, it is now super clear what you get first and last. Um, starting off at, at the top here, you get the base skill version, and then um, this, this bar basically fills up. And this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. And you can easily and uh, clearly see in which order you will get the skills, which I think is very nice. It's a pretty great addition. Um, and also you can see that I'm now only licking materials. I have the uh, possibility to upgrade to core level as soon as we hit those 11 blue shards, which I will get from the boss in just about, well, we need to do tomorrow and then the day after. I think I'll have to clear one boss. So if we can clear boss 7, I think that will be easily done. Um, I think it will be possible for us to clear boss 7. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, and then you have the transition example and usually we'll reach it like that. But now there is another way to get there because it's actually a building now next next to the fortune ruins. At Tavern and Wishing Fountain are actually now one building here. Um, so you click on that and then you have all those options, which is all right, I guess. I guess Wishing Fountain, you only really enter it during events. And then the Tavern... Well, if you have Idlemast, you'll never really enter it at all. Now you have the transition temple, you click on that. Basically brings you to the same place that we had before. Uh, level up here. By, by the way, the requirements for 4 to 5. Now, two origin heroes, one surge, one chaos, one core. Uh, we will get to one chaos hero quite easily. And I think the... the uh, currently, I just have the queen here also at chaos tier. I think she's not upgraded to level 100 yet. Um, which, or she is, uh, well, I actually have two Chaos Heroes in that case, because those are both level 100. Uh, in that case, I will have to decide on another hero now for um, the Origin tier, and I'm still not quite sure about that. Maybe we'll go Starwinger, it'll actually be quite cool. But it's nice that this is a building now. Uh, some of this stuff uh, looks really nice, actually. So, some good additions to the game again. Um, that being said, I think that's that's mostly all. We saw the new changes to Star Expedition, actually, but I can't really tell you guys a lot about that yet. There is a hard mode, if you check that out, and some new buffs, but I really think, well, I have to experience it a little bit more before we can actually go into that, and I can give you guys some better, a better idea about what's happening here and what makes sense or what's not. I will keep you guys updated, though, on the progress we make, because I figure with OP we will go... Uh, and delve quite deep into those bosses and maybe see some of those hard mode stages and some hard mode buffs and maybe get some strategies from that. We'll see about that, um, but that will be a topic for the next day. So uh, that being said, thank you guys for watching and we'll see us in the next one.